One of my favorite Hawaiian islands is Oahu. It is all of the best things to do, and I'm certain it's the next island you'll want to visit. I had the chance to spend an epic week when I went there with my family this spring experiencing all of the best things to do in Oahu. Oahu is known for many things, including the state capital Honolulu, historic Pearl Harbor, and iconic Waikiki Beach. But there's so much more to discover on Hawaii's most popular and populous island. Its 600 square miles encompass towering mountains, beautiful beaches, and top-notch cuisine. So, here is the list of 10 best things to do in Oahu, Hawaii. Before we start, make sure you subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for the latest upcoming travel videos. Here we go! Number 1. Waikiki Beach When flying into Honolulu, one of the first sights you will see is the world-famous Waikiki Beach, one of the most iconic beaches in the world. Waikiki has been a pillar of Hawaii since before the Hawaiian monarchy reigned over the islands. The long white sand is lined with palm trees, high-end shops, and beautiful hotels. The iconic Waikiki Beach Boys can still be found surfing their home break. For a fun experience, join this group surfing lesson hosted by Surfer Girl Academy to learn to catch waves from an expert. After hitting the surf, stop by Sunrise Shack at the Outrigger Waikiki Beach Resort for a refreshing smoothie bowl. Number 2. Hike Diamond Head State Monument Perhaps the most recognized landmark in the state of Hawaii is the Oahu Diamond Head State Monument. This now dormant volcano sits perched at the tip of the island like a crown overlooking Waikiki and Honolulu and is one of the most popular attractions in the entire archipelago. The profile of Diamond Head is iconic to the island of Oahu. The state monument spans 475 acres and is most famous for its hiking trail that starts within the crater and rises to the summit. The out and back trail is less than two miles and gains an elevation of 560 feet along the paved path. From the top, visitors have a remarkable view of the Honolulu skyline as well as the surrounding beaches. Number three, Polynesian Cultural Center. Located on the iconic North Shore of Oahu, the Polynesian Cultural Center is one of the great things to do on Oahu for the whole family to learn about Hawaiian culture. The best thing to see at the Polynesian Cultural Center is the Islands of Polynesia Park. The park is composed of several villages showcasing six Polynesian nations, Hawaii, Fiji, Tahiti, Tonga, Samoa, and Aotearoa, New Zealand. In each village, you will learn about the culture and language of each nation through song, dance, games, and cultural activities. Most performers at the Polynesian Cultural Center are of Polynesian descent, so giving the most authentic portrayal of their cultures is a high priority. This authenticity certainly shines through in the performances. After the villages, you can spend the rest of the day watching live performances of traditional dances, exploring the shops at the Hukilau Marketplace, or make it a whole day experience by enjoying the Ali'i Luau Buffet and show. Number 4. The North Shore The North Shore of Oahu Island is known for its fantastic sand and waves, snorkeling and sea turtle spotting, bargain food trucks, and overall laid-back vibes. To be fair, the North Shore is no secret anymore, and there's plenty of tourist traffic here, but it still manages to be one of the more quiet and undeveloped corners of Oahu Island. Compared to Waikiki, it's a totally different experience. During the winter, the North Shore is also known for having some of the biggest waves in the world, and it's fun to watch the pro surfers riding the giant swells at the Bonsai Pipeline. Whether you're a surfer, a snorkeler, or a family with kids, you should definitely check out the North Shore at least once while visiting Oahu. While you're on this side of the island, you might as well explore some of the other attractions and things to do in Oahu. Don't miss Waimea Valley for waterfalls, explore Haleiwa Town, and stop by the famous Japanese dessert stall, Matsumoto Shave Ice.
Number 5. Enjoy Lanikai Beach. About 30 minutes from Waikiki is one of the most beautiful beaches in the Hawaiian Islands. Lanikai Beach is known for its sugary white sand, turquoise water, and calm surf that is ideal for swimming and snorkeling. In fact, many people prefer Lanikai Beach over Hanauma Bay because you don't need tickets to enter and it's far, far less crowded. Crowds are also kept away because parking can be a challenge. Lanikai Beach is in a residential area, which is part of its appeal. You will find a fantastic hike near the beach called Lanikai Pillbox, which leads up over the ridges overlooking the beach and the town of Kailua. Number 6. Hike to Manoa Falls Oahu is practically spouting with waterfalls, and many of them are very easy to reach by hike. Manoa Falls is one of the best waterfalls on Oahu and is very easily accessible thanks to a relatively moderate hiking trail through the jungle. The trail to the falls is less than two miles out and back through lush, gorgeous jungle scenery. The hike does move along at a steady incline, so be prepared for a bit of a workout going in. The good news is the way out is all downhill. The hike takes about an hour to complete. At the end of the trail, you'll be faced with the 150-foot Manoa Falls, which spills down a sheer rock face. The intensity of the falls is dependent on how much rainfall there has been, so keep that in mind when you set out. The muddiness of the trail is equally dependent on the rainfall, so proper footwear is highly recommended. Number 7. Humaluhia Botanical Garden we lived at MCBH, which is on the windward side of Oahu. Waikiki and Diamond Head are on the south side. Not far from the base was the prettiest botanical garden I have ever been to. The whole Maluhia Botanical Gardens in Kaneohe were absolutely spectacular and made you feel like you were very much in lush, jungle Hawaii. Chickens ran wild through the gardens, there were dozens of hiking trails, and the views. Oh, the views! One thing I would recommend is bringing some bug spray. We didn't and were driven out of some spots because of the bugs. The botanical gardens are also a great things to do in Oahu with kids. There are many free activities for the little ones, like catch and release fishing, drawing, and painting. Admission to Hoonaluhia Botanical Gardens is free and open daily from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Number 8. Turtle Canyon One of the best things to do in Oahu is Turtle Canyon is a prime spot for swimming with Hawaii's gorgeous green sea turtles. Sign up for a snorkeling adventure to Turtle Canyon, which departs from around Oahu at different times of day and lasts between 2 to 3 hours. Hop on board of a luxury catamaran or private boat in Honolulu and set sail for the calm waters of Turtle Canyon, home to thousands of green turtles and other vibrant marine life. Gearing up into your snorkel set and hop into the ocean. Your tour guides on these expeditions are experts and know exactly where the turtles roam, so you're guaranteed to spot these magnificent ancient creatures. Maybe you'll also spot whales, octopuses, or dolphins. Number 9. Kakaako Street Art If you're looking for lesser known things to do in Oahu, or, more specifically, things to do in Honolulu, look no further. A street art tour, led by a knowledgeable local, provides travelers with a chance to experience an untampered, authentic side of the island. Starting in Waikiki, then onto other areas and attractions close by to Honolulu, your first point of interest is Kakaako District. Renowned as a creative hub in Honolulu and home to some serious street art. Other stops along the street art tour include the Salt Shopping Complex, the Honolulu Night Market, Magic Island, Ala Moana Beach Park, and Ala Wai Yacht Harbor, to name a few. Creative souls itching for more like-minded activities, consider an Instagram and street art tour to be shown the hidden island gems to make your socials P.O.P. Number 10. Wonder Makapuyu Lighthouse Trail. 
The Makapuyu Point Lighthouse Trail is a beautiful coastal walk along the sea cliffs within Kiwi State scenic shoreline. The two and a half mile hike takes just about an hour to complete and is jam packed with epic Oahu views. Parking is ample near the trailhead. From here, the trail travels at an incline up to the top of the ridge and continues onto an observation deck and lighthouse that have stunning panoramic views out to sea. Keep your eyes peeled for whales, and you will also definitely be able to see Coco Head and the Coco Crater. Number 11. Helicopter Tour Oahu The best way to see what Oahu and its neighboring islands has to offer is from above. Step inside a helicopter and admire the geographical diversity with lush forests, towering volcanoes, built-up resort towns, and endless coastlines. This is a great option for travelers with limited time as flights range from between 20 to 30 minutes to one hour. Depending on the type of tour you choose, some of the landmarks to fly over are Hanoma Bay Nature Preserve, Coco Crater Botanical Garden, Nuanupali, Kualoa Ranch, Bellows Field Beach Park, and many more. Simply choose your ideal duration and location, buckle up, and enjoy the panoramic views on offer from thousands of feet up. An unparalleled endeavor is to choose an open-door helicopter tour where the aircraft doors stay open during the flight. This is especially a great option for photographers. Number 12. Coco Crater Railway Trail More commonly known as Coco Head, this steep hike is a challenge for visitors and locals alike. Despite this, it remains one of the most popular hikes on the island. The hike starts off as an unpaved path, but once you get to the start of the ascent, you begin to climb old train tracks. The tracks get steeper and steeper as you ascend to the top of the hill. Once at the top, you will be at an old military bunker and will have the absolute best view of the south side of Oahu. Due to the nature of the hike, I recommend you only do it if you consider yourself to be in great physical shape. I have seen some people have to get rescued via helicopter because they could not make it to the top or back down. The hike is short, but certain spots of the tracks become like a ladder, hovering several feet into the air. Hiking this part of the trail requires great balance and strength. The challenge of the hike makes getting to the top that much sweeter. Number 13. Bishop Museum Bishop Museum is Hawaii's largest museum dedicated to the history of both the archipelago and the ocean in which it sits. It is open daily from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. and tickets cost $33.95 for adults and $25.95 for children ages 4 to 17. The museum was originally founded in 1889 and was owned by Charles Reed Bishop, husband of Princess Bernice Pauahi Bishop. It acted as a space to store their royal heirlooms and special Hawaiian artifacts. Once converted into a fully public space, it acquired more national treasures from the North Pacific region which decked the gallery hallways. Today, marvel over thousands of historical items and collectibles through the different exhibitions and unravel Hawaiian art, legends, and gods. The museum rooms are themed to make navigation easier. For example, visit the Hawaiian Hall or the Pacific Hall. Number 14. Duke Pawa Kahanamoku Statue. If you're looking for fun things to do in Oahu for free, check out the Duke Kahanamoku Statue. This bronze statue is located on Kuhio Beach and commemorates the father of modern surfing. Besides his incredible surfing skills, Duke was also a five-time Olympic medalist in swimming and a military police officer during World War II. As a way to honor his impressive legacy, visitors often leave lays on the statue. However, please note that the Hawaii Tourism Authority currently discourages this practice as the acidity from the flowers chips away at the bronze. So, if you'd like to leave a lay here, please place it at the statue's feet. Number 15. Dole Pineapple Plantation The Dole Plantation is a feast for all of your senses. As you pull up to the visitor center, you are greeted by the sweet smell of pineapples and stunning views of the endless pineapple fields. 
The pineapple has become one of the iconic symbols of the Hawaiian Islands, but it hasn't always been this way. Pineapples are not native to Hawaii. They were first brought to the islands by Spanish explorers in the early 1800s. But it wasn't until James Dole commercialized the crop in Hawaii that it became the symbol of the islands that we know it as today. Once you arrive at Dole Plantation, try your luck at the Pineapple Garden Maze, declared the world's largest maze in 2008. There are eight stations to find in the maze to successfully complete it, and you can even download an app to track your time and progress. The last word. So, guys, this was the best list of things to do in Oahu, Hawaii. Hope you will like it and appreciate it. People who come to this city are amazed by all of the awesome things there are to do and see. Some of the best things to do in Oahu, Hawaii include hikes, beaches, waterfalls, botanical gardens, water sports, wildlife sightings, and more. There are also some less conventional things to do in Oahu Island, like seeing lighthouses, visiting the Pear Harbor Memorial, or touring the Jurassic Park film site. I've been privileged to visit the Hawaiian Islands many times, often for months at a time, so I've done a bunch of hiking, exploring, and sightseeing all over Oahu, including some of the most far-flung corners of the island. So, if you love to travel and you want to see the whole world, then Trackwarrior is the channel that gives you a list of the best places to visit in the USA. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and press the bell icons for the latest upcoming travel videos. Bye bye, see you.